everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Geek Girl Claire with another exciting Tamiya Mini 4WD video. So today I am building my Mini 4WD Penguin Racer. This is based on the VZ chassis. So this is very exciting to me because I have many VZ chassis cars. And I noticed something here on this bumper. I'm trying to build this in a box stock kind of way. And I noticed that placing the rear bumper on this thing, there's a little tab right here. You can see it right here, but there's not one on this side. Now watch how this gets placed in here. So this slide, this thing, this little notch slides right in, and on the bottom there are basically these attachments that sit right on top of these little raised pegs here. So they basically slot right on here. And then this little thing is almost like a little reinforcement. It fits right in here. Now I'm wondering why they didn't have one on this side. That would have made this, this entire structure much more stable on here. So I don't know why they didn't do that on this side. I hope that in a future revision of this model, or maybe in future car kits, car models, that they will have this little peg on this side in this little area here. They could, they could have easily have molded a little notch right there, just like there, and just had another one to stabilize this whole thing. So that's my only gripe so far in building this model. Um, these little plastic rollers, I don't generally like them, but what I've done here to make them move is easily as possible. I made sure that I oiled them using this Tamiya Mini 4WD oil applicator pen rather than using grease and spins quite freely. And then after I attached these rollers on the bumper, I then applied um, cleaning the electrical cleaning spray on it. So I would basically angle it and get in between where the the screw meets the roller and the roller meets the, um, the washer on the underside. And I'd make sure that by spraying enough of that on there, I made sure that these things spun freely on the top and the bottom on both sides. And then I let just let this dry. So that's how I did it for this. So we'll continue with the build on this and hopefully it'll be done soon. Another weirdness I found in the kit is the fact that you get these two little, you get two little keylets that look like this. They're smaller than the P2 keylets. So for the purposes of this, I'll call it a P1. So you get two of these P1s and I believe you place one of these P1s into the other side of this, of this gear, this blue gear that you get with the kit. But nowhere in the instructions does it actually say you should do this you'll find that once you slip this inside, it fits perfectly inside the hole that's on the other side of this gear. And that will stabilize this shaft right here. So when you place um, this lubricant, uh, guys, don't use grease, use oil. Use the oil applicator pen. That's, that's going to be better for this. So when you place oil on here, slide it in, it's going to feel a lot more stable if you have this in place. If there was a way to glue this in, I think this would feel better to me, but there's not. So it kind of like floats around there freeform, but it makes everything more stable. So I do think that this should have been placed inside this gear. So it's not the P2, it's the P1 that I'm calling it, the little one. So you get two of these. You also get an extra P2 just in case one of your P2 uh, uh, keylets decides to wear out quicker than the others. So these are made of POM plastic and they're supposed to be very low friction plastic. So that's basically perfect. If you're just using plastic, it's perfect for the rotation of the shaft inside the gear. And here is the finished product, the Penguin Racer on the VZ chassis. Yes. Now, one thing I tried to do, I tried to be a little slick about things. I saw that in the picture on the box, there's a very shiny looking um, penguin on it. So if you look at the picture on the box, 
penguin's shiny. The penguin in real life isn't shiny. It's got kind of a matte finish. So what I tried to do was I took some top coat uh, nail polish, so OPI top coat, which is very high quality top coat. It's, it's like a nice gloss that you can add on top of your nails and if you're a girl. And um, it makes your nails shiny, just like it'll make other plastic things shiny, I thought, anyway. So I tried painting that gloss on top of the penguin and what ended up happening was it got kind of splotchy. So there are parts that are shiny, but there are also parts that look kind of like, I don't know, like it, like this, this top coat somehow affected it negatively. Like it basically started melting the paint, the existing paint right off the penguin. So I was very dissatisfied with using the top coat. In fact, what happened was the beak of the penguin Start the the paint started coming off after I put that top coat on. That's not good, guys. That's terrible. So I heard that these were hand painted. So maybe that's the the big reason why you don't want to um, try to do anything slick with with these hand painted characters. You want to just leave them as is. What you see on the box isn't necessarily something that you can do in real life. So I was thinking about this. Maybe I should have gotten some spray gloss or something like that and just sprayed the entire thing and just let it be. But I decided to do something slick and try try my top coat. So that didn't work in this case. But anyway, that's, um, that's a tip for you guys. Don't use top coat. Don't use nail polish top coat for your characters. So there you go. So this is as I said before, the Penguin Racer, it's VZ chassis. There are a lot of cool upgrades that you can do for this racer. You could add ball bearings in place of the Palm P2 keylets that hold the shafts on the chassis. You can change this whole front bumper into FRPs or carbon fiber uh, plates. You can change the rollers from these cheesy plastic ones to um, aluminum or aluminum with rubber outsides. You could change the back ones to double rollers aluminum on the back side. You can change this to FRP or carbon plates. You could potentially get smaller wheels for this and change the gear ratio from the crappy, um, I think it's a five to one gear ratio they give you in there. But I think this is meant for speed. That's why they have these large tires here. But if you want this to like wind around very tight courses, very technical courses, then you'll need smaller wheels and you'll need to change the gearing in here. So as you well know, one of my favorite cars is my, my Neo VQS Japan Cup. And this has got small wheels in it. It's got a 3.5 to one uh, gear ratio in there. It's got um, sprint dash motor in there. And it's like totally souped up with all the things that I just mentioned. In, in the Penguin Racer. So yeah, that's basically it. So everybody, if you like this video, please slam the like button and subscribe to my videos for more videos just like this one. Remember, I'm not a pro racer, I'm just an enthusiast, but I have a lot of cool knowledge to share with all the newbies out there and all the up and coming racers. See you everybody, bye.